Hello and welcome to this new video. It is a part of a list, so if you are new, please take a look to the previous videos because they are all connected. You will find the link in the description below. In the last video, we saw how to send data to the IoT platform ThinkSpeak. In this video, we will see how to get data. You can imagine a project where you have a remote sensors. Their data are stored on a ThinkSpeak. And you have a display locally where you will show this value automatically. In my uh, private channel, I have uh, here uh, two fields. Let's go to the site easycoding.tn and search for any link to Tunyot for ESP32. First, I will uh, connect it to the Wi-Fi uh, network. This block will allow me to get uh, the data. You will need uh, the ID of the channel and uh, the read key. Beware, we need uh, to select uh, the read key and not the write key. In case I'm not connected to the site of ThinkSpeaker, I will display a message. I added a delay of 15 seconds because I'm using the free service. Here, I will also show the value of the second field. Now we are ready to upload the program and see the result. This is the first field. And this is the second one. I will try to update with the new data. As you can see, it's working. My board received the new values. Now I will try to get data from a public channel. The open lock sign means that your channel is public and anyone can read from it.
The only difference in the program is to keep the box of the key empty, totally empty, which means with no character and not even a space. And you continue your program in the same way. Here I will update the field with a new value. And as you can see, it's working. I hope that you like the video and see you soon. Bye.